What's up guys, it's Coach Drew. One of the most often asked questions that I get is how do I become more shifty in games when dribbling? And so today I'm gonna to give you my favorite ball handling drill that I do with all my NBA players to help them improve their shiftiness. Now it's gonna seem like an easy drill, it's gonna look like an easy drill, but I promise you when you try it out, it's gonna be one of the hardest things you've ever had to do because it incorporates ball handling, footwork, and it's gonna mess with your mind because you're gonna to have to do different cadences and do different things that you're not used to doing before. The drill is pretty simple when it's broken down. It's just simply gonna be an inside out, then a crossover, then a between the legs, then a behind the back. Inside out, cross, between the legs, behind the back. Inside out, cross, between the legs, behind the back. So you notice every single time it's just inside out, then crossover, then between the legs, then behind the back. That would be easy if we just rep that out. And a lot of times when we do ball handling drills, we just constantly rep the same pattern and so it doesn't work our mind. This one works our mind. So now what you're gonna do is every third move, you're gonna shift away from the ball, which means I'm gonna go inside out, that's one. Crossover, that's two. Now on this between the legs, since it's my third rep, I'm gonna go between the legs and shuffle away. That's three. Now we don't start over, we don't take a dribble or anything else. We go right into our behind the back because that's next in the series. So then I go behind the back, that's one. Inside out, that's two. Now on this crossover, this is three. So I cross over and again shift. Now we got to remember that now we're at between the legs. Then we go behind the back, that's two. And then inside out, we shift away from it. Then we got crossover, we got between the legs, and then we got behind the back and shift away from it. That would be one full set. Then we'd start the whole set over. Again, it'd be inside out crossover between the legs, shift away, then it's behind the back, inside out, cross, shift away, between the legs, behind the back, inside out, shift away, then cross between the legs, behind the back, and shift away. If you can get two full series, even at medium speed, I'll be really impressed. If you can get at full speed, I promise you you'll be doing a lot better than most NBA players. This is the drill if you want to work on shiftiness that you have to work on every day until you master it. Let's check it out full speed.